Looking for the downstairs though, here's the upstairs. There's more bedrooms and stuff up there, but there's a patio downstairs. So I've been trying to figure out where. So I'm gonna wait for everybody else to get here until I go down there. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Tyler. Boy, you don't go down there and investigate nothing. You wait till some other folks get there and let them go check and see what it is, but we ain't going down there looking for Nathaniel. Boy, you, you with us. Boy, I feel like a proud white father right now. Every day on your own, and here it goes. I'm just a kid. Yeah, the internet done did a number on me, boy. I'm sitting there at first thinking that that young lady that had a rough 16 years of life, and that dude can't go near playgrounds. But then that picture switched, and I realized she's 36 too. And man, that really made me feel good, boy, because ain't gonna lie, some of these folks be posting these things, but I'm like, you supposed to be in the penitentiary. If you found out your new house was haunted, Leo. Move out. Now, you would think that that is the one and only answer on the board, but that's not how Family Feud works. See, on Family Feud, they ask 100 random people the same question, and then they tally up those answers, and that's how they make the ranking system. And that answer right there was the number one answer. 49 people agreed that if they moved into a new house and they found out it was haunted, oh, boy, I'm scared. I got to get up out of there. But then there was three other possible answers. I don't think y'all really understand what that means. That means 49 people heard that question and was immediately like, nah. And then 51 white folks was like, now when you say haunted. This is a great piece. Watch this. So first of all, nice. But second of all, brother, where you live at? Because this can't be the same earth I'm on, but you must be on earth plus or something, dog. Every video he posts, buddy, buddy at a place that looked like a Microsoft background, bro. Like, this don't make no sense because you, you really look at the beauty of nature, man, and like the evolution of mankind. And the best thing we can come up with is paying taxes. <laughs> you, you know, when your therapist told you to let off some steam, I just don't feel like this is what they had in mind. I've heard of hot flashes before, but I didn't really know the extent of it until I watched this video. Y'all ladies really be going through it for real, man. Because, you know, for me, I got to work out pretty hard to get that steam going. But you just existing and you got that hibachi scout meat. You'll hear like a cup of dry ice right now. Like somebody opened up a deep freezer. And kind of remind me of Hades from Hercules when he be getting worked up. I think I see what went wrong here. You were supposed to hire a mover. That's an evictor, fool. You know, I think the crazy thing about this video is you got to imagine how many cartoons he watched to think that was a good idea. But more so, the person that recorded it, they probably warned them and told them it was a bad idea. And that's probably why they recorded it. Because who thought that throwing that from that window was going to be saved by a couch cushion? Oh, there, Cook Norris, get off the gas. I'm trying to figure out if this is the first time I witnessed somebody use a roundhouse as a warning. Or did he just whiff his special move? But he just wasted a rage art, and needless to say, Paw Paw was unfazed. My dog, do you see that pot? Do you see that pot of grits? Look at Man, that picture takes you back to them days, don't it? I can smell that picture, man. I almost taste it. You know, anytime they make you grits in a pot that look like it was used in an altercation, that's how you know it's going to be fire. But that pot was used for punishment. And I went upside somebody's head with that pot, man. I left them wide-sided. And the crazy thing is, you look at that picture, bro, and that food looks so simple. But yeah, no matter how many times you make it or how many times they give you the recipe, it just don't ever taste quite like your grandma's doing. And you sitting there and think about, you know, all them days when everybody was still together, man. You chilling with your cousins and your siblings and whatnot, bro. Crazy the power that the picture has, man. You know, the same one that'll make you smile be the same one that make you sad. That's beautiful. Nah, what you mean accidentally? Because I can't think of one exercise that would require you to beam me with a ball like that, fam. He ended up working on his accuracy, and he was dead on with it because he wraps you, fam. And the thing is, I probably would have crashed out, I'm being honest. And it ain't because of the fact that I got hit with the ball necessarily. It's the fact that even though I can't see his face, it sounded like he was smiling a little bit when he said, I'm sorry, bro. And that would have sent me over the edge. Y'all, if the if the if the top of the pot starts spinning, what that what that mean? Like what I'm Shoot, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. I think you're having a unique experience right now. I'm not educated enough on the topic to give you any valuable advice, but if I had to guess, shoot, depending on what you put in that pot, you might be able to unlock a new potion after this, or or you just summoned up an enemy that you can't defeat yet. Real quickly. Or How are we breaking? Quickly. These are our brake pads. Who are you showing that to? These are our brake pad? 
I thought that was a buzzard feather at first, fam. That ain't no brake pad. That's a broke sticky note at best. She to my, who you showing that to? You lucky you ain't showing it to the Lord. Y'all was one road trip away from being an unstoppable force at 75 miles per hour. Nah, uh, that actually might just be you, fam. Like, I can't speak for everybody, obviously, but whenever I'm going down the escalator, I always imagine my shoestring get caught and then it drag me up under there and crush me to death. So I usually just do a little hop. Uh, I mean, can I buy a vow or something, bro? This hard. This look like something a wasp made in home economics class, boy. I couldn't identify that if you gave me a birth certificate or a social security number, man. Like this, what even is that, bro? Like next time they tell you to get back in the kitchen, you make sure they know that you're allergic. Mooch when you hit him. RKO out of nowhere, boy. That's unfortunate, man. In the words of that old man from the crepe challenge. And when I came down, ooh, it, like the craziest part about this video is. After he got mushed by that medieval transportation method, his friend asked him, was he okay, when he obviously wouldn't, and then we'll start cursing at him like he ain't just get dropped like an Amazon Prime package. No Not only would the crash out be reasonable, but I feel like it's mandatory, because hear me and understand, if anybody was ever foolish enough to do this to me, tomorrow would never be anything more than mythology to you, fam. You get in same day shipped to the devil's doorstep, and when you arrive, I'll be waiting right beside him with a job application and a boot engulfed in hellfire, prepared to spend the rest of eternity breaking my foot so far off in your ass, your sternum got footprints on it. Why are people with glasses so sexy? Yeah, yeah. You know how y'all always in my comment section talk about, he never look at the camera. What is he looking at? I start off every day like Velma. Where's my glasses patting around so I can start the day off properly, bro? I can't drive my car without them. All I see is colors and shapes and y'all out here cracking jokes. Don't make no sense, boy. I ain't got no gang affiliation, but I got to live my life like a blood because I can't see. Got the eyesight of a blindfolded Batman. The, the eyesight of a seesaw. I thought I went to the playground, cuz. And, and that ain't even the worst part. The worst part about wearing glasses is, is this right here because these prescriptions, y'all think it's a joke. Bro, if you look closely, it make my head look even more narrow than it already is. And so every time I speak to somebody, I imagine that they staring straight through them lenses and thinking, that man head look like a chewed on pencil. It do. Uh, brothers, sisters, I, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news, so I'm going to try to lay it down on you lightly. Y'all know when y'all turn on them rain sounds. You know, at night when you trying to catch them Z's, that's really just the sound of me trying to give me peace. So, in other words, that actually is chicken. You ain't going on here because that's what it is. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. That brother enrolled in school to get a PhD in politeness, boy. You done ran into the kindest colonel. I ain't never seen somebody speed run good karma before, but I bet when he go home, all the lights be green. That man's so covered in grace, if he stepped in the mud puddle with brand new shoes on, he looked down to wipe and the night's still clean. Uh, he gonna be the first person to go down in history with an invitation to heaven to come with a plus one. Boy, that's a good dude right there, man. The only thing I don't like about this video is that they weren't saying thank you. I got it. I'm gonna try it. Rated one through ten. Bottoms up. You said bottoms up. More like bottom blown out. I hope you got a doctor's note on standby because you're not going to be able to clock in tomorrow. You worry about the wrong shift. You finna be a toilet bowl product tester for the next 24 hours, fam. Yeah, you going to have the runs. And I ain't talking about a trike meet or R&B singing. Shoot, I hope you did that for shits and giggles because that's exactly what you finna have. My brother, that is light work. There are two video games out there right now. That will challenge your relationship more than any hardship ever would. I swear for Lord, bro. The first one is called It Takes Two. It Takes Two should tell you everything you need to know because it takes two people for you to beat it. So if the other person not locked in, you cannot win, bro. And it is stress inducing. But there is one that's worse. And this game allows you to be disappointed in more than one person at a time. And it's called Chain Together. And Chain Together, you're in hell and you're chained to up to three of your friends. And y'all have to climb out of hell to heaven to escape. The problem is if you fall... You have to start over unless you cheat and use the save points. But even then, it's it, like, bro, if y'all friends in the beginning and y'all still friends by the time you get to the top, boy, y'all going to be locked in for life. Because I swear, you're going to find out how stupid some of your friends are. Oh, you feel me? Ain't nobody could cook an egg better than me, bro. Ah! Mm-mm. But like Sunnyside done upped on you and left you scrambled. That's just a reminder that your life could be over easy. So stop lying. No, 
see the problem is the windshield wiper don't be operating at the optimal capacity to counter the velocity of the raindrops. And so a lot of times it's not raining hard enough for you to need to turn on the windshield wiper. But the problem is if you don't turn on the windshield wiper, then all the little water droplets will accumulate over time and then begin to impede your vision. So now you got to manually operate the windshield wiper like it's got a standard transmission when you're supposed to be driving. But see, if you turn on the windshield wiper anyway, it, it wipes away too fast and you got to hear the little screeching noise and eventually it'll break your windshield wiper and you got to spend that money on it to go get fixed. But on the other end, you got it when it's raining way too hard and the windshield wiper can't keep up. So at that point, it's just blocking your view as well because it's just constantly going back and forth in front of your face. Fam. Like at this point, they just need to come up with a better way to stop the rain when it's raining too hard and a, a slower speed for when it's just drizzling. Oh, fiddly wickets, my favorite British beverage. Beans on ice. Please, sir, can I have some more? I don't know what I thought was going to come out of there, but I promise you that was the last thing on my mind, fam. And then the way them three ice cubes just plunked on top of them beans. What kind of delivery choice is that? Nah, because now that we on the topic, let's really talk about it. Even if you paid $700 for that two-day shipping, it still wasn't going to get there on time, bro. They talking about, oh, it didn't make it? Give it about three days. Give it about three days. Oh, give me my money back, bro. I ain't get y'all them funds for no reason, bro. I paid for swift shipment, not no meaningless misunderstanding, fam. Like, I already envisioned, all right? I'm there in spirit, enjoying the thing that I ordered already, fam. My body's just waiting on it to arrive. I'm gonna need you to give my money back. Uh, down protects the net, the neck. And it's it's and, and if we do a nod up. It's crazy that most guys do the nod, but we weren't taught to do it. It's just kind of in our DNA. You know, like, depending on who you're doing it to or where you're at, it means something different. Like, if I nod down, that means that I'm acknowledging you, but I don't really know you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a formal greeting in a way. You know, howdy, how's it going? If I do an up, though, that's a what's up or what's happening. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of look at it like this. You know, the nod down is more like a handshake. The, the nod up is more like a dap. You know, I'm, I'm coming here with it. What's happening with you, bro? You know what I mean? That's what I usually do when I see another black man or, like, somebody I'm familiar with. But everybody knows whether it's an up nod or a down nod. The most disrespectful thing you can do is not return the nod, bro. Don't be like that. Okay, first of all, that is not a pan. That is a pot. And by the looks of it, that's the pot they called the kettle of darky. Mm-hmm. Pot pyre! Okay, maybe it was black, but same difference. Either way, how do you mess up water, fam? Good morning or good evening. And I choose to let you know If I gotta beg and plead for some season, please I don't mind, cause it mean that much to me Seen more seasoning on your flow So I'm not eating, girl, no Cause if I'm not sneezing, baby, baby Then it's not season, girl Three ounces of bourbon in So this is a pretty strong drink Three ounces? Fam, you must have calculated that on a stopwatch. That was more like three Mississippis. I think the only reason you stopped pouring is because you ran out of glass. Talking about it's pretty strong. Now, that drink powerful. A man who went to hospital to have his right leg amputated was shocked to wake up and realized bungling surgeons had removed the wrong one. Oh, that is a costly mistake, my brother. I know this might make me seem crazy, but I'm not going to lie. Money's not going to cut it. I'm going to need a leg up off you, fam, and not just any leg. If somebody told you to put your best foot forward, that's the one I want, and I'm going to do it myself. You can walk me through it if need be, but we're going to be popping wheelies and wheelchairs together, fam. The Pancake House Pirates, I hop, you hop. I know they say that an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, but a leg for a leg really helps you see where I'm coming from, and it's kind of like this. Off balance, and it's your fault. I came in to get the right leg taken off, and you took the left one, fam? You know what's going to happen when I wake up now? They're going to take the other one. Now I'm looking like Kenny Moan after Trafalgar Law got a hold of him, bro. And you know what I'm going to say when people see me? You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> Homeless? Nah, that brother made a home with less. Like, that man got a real skill, bro. He need to get hired to answer his higher calling. Come on, cut. They got closets on the marketplace for like $2,500 with less amenities than that. I'm just saying, bro. Like, how much he charging? Cause scoot over, dog. I kissed a man. No. They cut it. What? No, you're joking. You did it. When I first heard about this, man, I thought it was a rumor. I was taken aback. I was like, Denzel did what? Then I heard it from the horse's mouth. Boy, and I'm not going to lie to you. If I ever found myself in the acting world, dedicated to the craft like Denzel is, and I go against my morals and beliefs and kiss a man to improve the script, you know, for lower accuracy and things of that nature, and you cut it? 
you getting cut. I'm crashing out, and it's mandatory, fam. If I kiss a man, it better be in every advertisement. It better be on the graphic for the movie. But if it's a promo, I'm bringing it up. Like, you know, we had a good time filming the movie, bro. I really enjoyed the character. Uh, by the way, I had to kiss a man. Y'all stay tuned for that part. I'm coming to the theater making sure the eyes is open, peeled, to make sure they see that scene. But every millisecond of that kiss better be on camera. Or I promise you, I'm coming to your crib and I'm going to do you dirty, bro. Because, like, why you even film that? You kept it for yourself. You want no weirdos. Boy, you on that list, bro. I can't do it. Never in my life have I seen a sign about this. Now, this right here, this is beautiful, man. You know, in a time where we're so separated, so many things trying to divide us, this will really pull us back together. You know, that reminder that we all in the same boat and we need to look after each other, man. You know, that care for your neighbor and that village you need to look after the kids, man. We need more of that in the world, but that energy right there is in the right place. I can tell when you did this, your heart was in the right place. Your mind wasn't in the building, though. Like, I'm just saying, from the outside looking in with the font and, and the bulb, like, bro, kind of make it look like you the pervert, fam. Like, you gotta get a better sign. Hey, Yeah, that's me right there. See, while y'all drinking that can't drive juice, I'm going to be enjoying a delicious designated driver drink, okay? And you're going to want to sip, but you can't have none because you're not putting your lips on my beverage, fam. You know, that poison that you're drinking, it's going to be clotheslining your liver. Mine only going to irritate my intestines a little bit. It might give me some gas, but can't nobody drive on E, fam. Hey, if I wore this to my wedding, would it be my wedding dress or my something blue? Well, uh, it would be white and gold, depending on the lighting. Talking about it's blue and black. It's, it's very obviously blue and black in this, but I'm telling in that picture though, it did not look like that, bro. It was it was shape shifting, it was changing. But young folks don't even know the the problems that this picture, like that dress right there, done caused a lot of trauma, bro. I'm telling you. Now I'm not like a professional or anything, but I feel like in this video I see a lot of signs that you don't want to really be here. You know, like. The fact that she was in the vicinity of a wild tiger, that's a bad first step. And then secondly, you're supposed to have a fight or flight system. Yours is more like a fighter hover around. You know, it ain't got a lot of urgency and you lack the horsepower and kilowatts. You know, normally in a situation like this, your adrenaline take over that blood, get to pumping. Just the kind of fear to make you forget about your illness, bro. That bad back got to go on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? You got things to yabba dabba do. You got to get to scoot. Normally, if you got arthritis right now, mm mm is the wrong was you know what i mean like you didn't put no salt or pep in your step fam and then you look back to see if the tiger was gonna catch up knowing good and well you can't outrun no tiger fam you gotta go in one direction run and hope and pray that you don't die today i'm gonna be trying a variety of different seasonings that americans mainly put on their food. uh my fair lady that is not seasoning that is a condiment you know it's protection against flavorless food kind of like raisin canes for instance you know a lot of times people say raisin canes is good you just gotta use the sauce no no you gotta use the sauce because raisin canes isn't good you know it's like a uh, last dish effort to avoid putting food in a trash can when it's not any good you put a condiment on it so it's edible and then you can swallow it and you know your stomach will feel full you just lack the satisfaction you know what i'm saying so when food has seasoning then the condiment it's really not necessary. It's more so like putting whipped cream on top of a milkshake. You know, the milkshake was going to be good, but the whipped cream just add a little extra. Mac and cheese, cornbread salad. And I've been black my whole life, boy. And I'm from the country down there in Mississippi, boy. I'm talking about out there in the woods like deer and armadillos. I ain't never in my life heard of no cornbread salad, fam. Didn't even know that cornbread could be salified. They got more cheese on the cornbread salad than you got on the Mac. I don't trust the dish. So I looked it up to see what it was. And this right here is the dish in question, cornbread salad. Now I want you to take a second and use the oculars, okay? Analyze all the things compiled into this dish. You noticing something? It look like rabbit puke, fam. What were y'all trying to make? Nachos? This is nacho time to shine, okay? When Thanksgiving comes, you need to stick to the book, fam. You can't be playing with everybody's taste buds. Don't nobody, nobody has ever ate this dish before ever in the, in the history of humanity, fam. Like, you made this up this week. Like, bro, I'm tired of folks thinking it's time for them to come and try out a new dish when the whole family done gathers. You finna be spending your next holiday alone. They probably have different type of doneness here in Italy. Because I ordered medium. Medium? Man, you must be talking about a cow that can speak the spirits. That steak so raw, it should have came with a condom. Talking about medium. That, if that's medium, then if you order it rare, you can milk it. Lord have mercy, brother. People in the comment section upset talking about why you didn't turn the flame off before you put it in the grease. Why you got sandals on? Why you putting the turkey in the grease? Where's your mitt? Where? 
where's the seasoning on that turkey? That bird's so wide, I thought you were deep frying swan, brother. That don't make no sense, man. Like, God, dog, boy, that turkey didn't get fried. He got lynched. Nah, let's really talk about it, bro, because I'm allergic to half these deodorants, so I got to use a very specific one, and it costs almost $10. In this economy, contemplating can be crucially catastrophic. Should nobody be at the counter debating dinner or deodorizer, fam? Swallowing satisfactory sustenance is a key to survival, but stopping musk is a must, fam. I don't want to be out and about and have my nostrils interrupted by the stench of a mucus melting mangy mother. Well, we gotta lower these prices. This is the mac and cheese my wife is bringing to Thanksgiving dinner this year, y'all. I don't think your wife should bring the mac and cheese this year, fam. As a matter of fact, I don't think you should bring your wife. Breakfast on a budget? What kind of budget you on? You just put a whole pack of bacon in oil, fam. Bacon got its own oil. You ain't never got shot at while making it. You eating like you can afford a cardiologist. I tell you what, that lot bill is going to be higher than Snoop Dogg on 420. And that's the first thing that came to your mind when you seen it too? We friends now. Mm-hmm. That fall put speed in park, didn't it? It's not normally part of our culture, but he's doing a cultural speed run right now. So, you know, hey, I ain't going to participate, but I'll watch. Now, if it's not too much to ask, I would just like you to walk me through how you acquired this forbidden crunch, fam, because I've been cooking for a long time. And my mom is a chef. She went to culinary school, man. And that being said, I've seen a lot of mistakes happen in the kitchen. I mean, I remember her first mistake in the kitchen, bro. It was when I was born. I was born premature, fam. That means I was in the oven cooking. And I came out early. I wasn't even done yet. You know what I'm saying? And, and now you have went in there and did something that I've never seen before, fam. I am astonished. I don't have enough testosterone, but in this octagon, I'm the boss. That's my new favorite fighter right here, fam. Like, I seen her knock this girl out the other day. She kicked her so hard, I swear I thought she died. Like, the rigor mortis set in almost immediately. And then the worst part about it is, she a doctor. Dr. Slumber, what they call her. She out here slumping people, fam. Talk about job security. And then the crazy thing is, she don't feel like she being aggressive enough in the octagon. Boy, if, if she did that to old girl and she think it's more, like, she got to be more ferocious, boy, y'all cook. A little too cheesy for me. If you have a hate comment, move on. Not hate, just concern. You wanna wanna tell me why you're in the kitchen making mac and grieve? I'd love to know. That looks like a sickly sneeze, fam. That is like a pan of stage five lactose intolerance you got there, fam. I don't want none of that. Some of that ooey gooey raw vegan Chicago deep dish pizza. Deep dish vegan pizza, huh? You know, if you didn't say nothing, I would have thought you had a bunch of vegetables in the ashtray. You know, one of them stone bowls, but. Yeah, this this is this is something, fam. If you was trying to convince me not to go vegan, it did the job. Yeah, that Roman Colosseum crust did it. That that, that right there, like the same stuff Mr. Krabs used to print them Krabby Patties that time, man. Like this, this is disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak, like me. <laughs>